it's Melanie and today I have a new beauty basket of the week to share with you and technically it's not for the week it's probably for the next couple of weeks if I'm gonna be completely honest um, I am trying to change out my products that I'm using on at least a bi-weekly basis this last basket I kept I think for like three weeks though so but the purpose of this is for me to go through my stash and use things that I maybe haven't used in a while and really figure out what I love and what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of eventually. So I just did a huge purge video towards the beginning of the year. Um, my whole makeup collection series will be listed down below for you. I actually have it on a playlist. Um, and I've already done a purge, just an initial purge, where I got rid of quite a few things, and that video will be listed down as well, down below as well. Um, but I know that there's probably more that I can get rid of, and so doing these beauty baskets forces me to take things out and actually use them, and um, helps me make that decision <laughs> in terms of do I keep it, or do I pass it along, or do I throw it in the trash? So. I'm going to share with you the products that I am not switching out because these usually stay pretty consistent for me. First thing is like my face, like base type products. So my Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer will always be in my beauty basket. The Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass will be in here for a while because I want to finish it. <laughs> um, I have the Josie Moran Argon Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil for any dry patches on my face. And then I also have the Paula's Choice Barely There Sheer Matte Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 30 for days that I know I'm going to be outside a little bit more and I want a little bit of extra SPF protection. And then the primer that I'm trying to finish up is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and the Anti-Aging Formula. So, And this was just a sample that I got. I think it was like a 500 point perk or something. So those products are going to stay the same. As will my foundations. So... I am a powder foundation girl, Laura Geller Balance and Brighten and Fair, Everyday Minerals Winged Butter Semi Matte Base. And then I also have a couple of samples from Everyday Minerals that I'm going to try to use up as well. And then my setting powder is the Paula's Choice um, Healthy Finish Pressed Powder Broad Spectrum SPF 15 in the color Buff Beige. I really love this. And it gives me, again, extra SPF protection, which I am a big fan of. Also not getting traded out are my lip balms right now because I'm just loving them, so I'm not going to force myself to do that. Um, these are all from the Rosebud Perfume Company, the Minted Rose Lip Balm, the Mocha Rose Lip Balm, as well as the Original Smith's Rosebud Solve. Just love all of those. Um, I bought mine on drugstore.com, but you can also find them at Sephora, I think. I think. Lip products. I did trade these out, so let's talk about the new lip products that I pulled. So I have three Maybelline lipsticks. I have Nude Nuances. Um, I don't remember if this one was limited edition. Lust for Blush. This is one of the mattes. And then Touch of Spice, which is also a matte. Um, lip glosses that I have in here. This is one that I got from a Laura Geller package deal uh, set, I guess I should call it, um, last month, and it's her, actually it's a liquid lipstick, but it is in the color Buttercream. Then I'm still trying to use up the last of my Sophia Buxom Gloss, and then I'm also going to try to use up the Buxom Gloss in White Russian, so that's staying in here. I still have my lipstick um, that I got from my friend Kirsten, and it's the P2 Lipstick in Message in a Bottle. I just love this. I'm actually going to be going to Germany this summer for a friend's wedding, and I'm so excited to go and buy just a crap ton of P2 products. Watch out, Germany. I'm coming home. <laughs> I'm going to buy a bunch of makeup while I'm there. Um, this is the Essence Creamy Nude Lipstick. They actually don't make this one anymore, so I have a few backups of it, but I'm going to try to use up this guy here because there's really not much left. There's my neighbor. I'm actually wearing this on my lips right now. It is the CoverGirl Lip Slicks. Do you guys remember these? This is the color Demure. I love this. This is like your, the perfect like my lips but better like balm. Doesn't have a lot of color payoff, but I just I've always loved these. Um, 
I am keeping the Too Faced uh, Lip Injection Color Bomb in Bee Sting. Whenever you guys are asking me what's on my lips, the vast majority of the time it's this thing because I love it. Unfortunately, this color was limited edition to the a few of my favorite things palette collection that they came out with two years ago. So um, I'm going to be sad when this is gone because this is all I have left. Um, I wear this several times a week. I just love it. It does plump my lips. So when it looks like someone punched me in the mouth, it's because I'm wearing this. <laughs> And then two liners, two Milani liners. I really like these color statement lip liners that they have. 03 Nude and 04 All Natural. Both of these are gorgeous. If you don't have these, go get them, like now. If you're in the Pacific Northwest, Fred Meyer sells Milani, so you should be able to get these there. They're just fantastic. I love them so much. I feel like I have something in my teeth. I don't, but... Okay, something else that actually doesn't change really are my brow, my eyeliner, and my mascara products because they're things that I try to use up um, instead of cycling out. So the three mascaras that I have in here are the Wonder Lash from Rimmel, the Lash Blast Volume, and the Glam Lash from Laura Geller. Um, I have my Urban Decay Brow Box in Beige Betty. My Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. My Sephora Retractable Brow Pencil in Gray Natural Neutral. Can I read? No. Neutral Gray Brown. And then the three liners that, are ha that I have in here are the L'Oreal Infallible Eye Crayon in Forever Taupe. Um, the Autograph Pencil from Kat Von D and Puro Amoro. And also my beloved... Oh no, it's the brown, and now I can't remember the name of it. Da! Ah! It's the brown one. I can't, I've sharpened it so much that it doesn't have the name on there. I don't know the name of it. <laughs> Sorry, it's brown. Hopefully that helps you find it. You can find it at Sephora. They, they sell them there. They're fantastic. It's the only eyeliner that stays put on my uh, lash line and doesn't melt like... Are you one of those people that like has their uh, liner melt like into the corner of their like eyes and then you look like you have like this pool of like black or brown by the end of the day? This brand of liner, this Kat Von D autograph like pencil, um, it's one that you sharpen. It is the only one that doesn't do that to me. So I will gladly pay for this because it doesn't melt. If you have that issue because you have oily skin or hot eyelids like I apparently have, Everything seems to melt on my eyelids. I don't know what that's all about, but it doesn't pull. Like I didn't, I had, like I don't have to touch up. That's, that's worth the extra money to me. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to share with you uh, cheek and eye products. So, whoop, don't go anywhere. This is the Sephora Pantone Universe uh, Color of the Year Marsala Palette. Love this. Love it. Had to pull it back out because I love it. Another blush product that I pulled is my Milani Powder Blush. And you might be like, dude, you've already used that for like the last four weeks. No, this one's different. This is Tea Rose. The other one was Romantic Rose. If you can find these, again, if you're in the Pacific Northwest, Fred Meyer. Sorry, if you don't live in the Northwest, I don't know where Milani is sold. I think actually Walmart, my Walmart carries some Milani stuff. Not a lot, though. I've never seen these there, but... Um, you can also order these off the Milani website. They are permanent now, but I just, I love them. I always say, if you are a blush overdoer, these are a great product because you have to kind of build them just a little bit. If you are a blush overdoer and you have this, you better watch yourself because tap that brush off. First couple times that I used this, I looked ridiculous, but it's a beautiful color, so I still use it. I also kept the Laura Geller blush in roseberry because it's just so pretty. I also got this in that same Laura Geller set that I got that liquid lipstick in. Um, I'm trying this for contour. I'm trying something different because I normally I use the NYX taupe which I swear by and now everyone all of a sudden is like discovering it and they're like this is the greatest thing ever and I'm like no shit like I've been trying to tell you guys that for like years. I've been using that for so long. It's fantastic. 
and I think it works for so many different skin tones. Anyway, so I'm going to try this to try something different. Um, it's the Paula's Choice Sunkissed Custom Color Bronzer, but um, I, I'm not. I don't really bronze because I'm white as can be, um, and I don't feel the need to be bronze. So, but I do contour. So I'm thinking I can probably use this color here for contour. So I'm going to try it. The highlighter that I pulled is the Hourglass Ethereal Light Ambient Lighting Powder. Ooh, I'm wearing this today. It's so pretty. It just makes your skin glow. It's so pretty. Two palettes that I pulled. The Balm Shady Lady uh, Volume 2. This has some pretty colors in it. These are mostly shimmery. So I decided to pull two palettes so that I could have some mattes to play with. And this is the Stila in the No Eyeshadow Palette. I love this. So pretty and this color right here in the fall is like everything I, I just love these like rusty orangey colors in the fall in the crease Ugh. why can't it be fall year-round okay and I also have some singles I have two of the old-school Victoria's Secret eyeshadows ah I hate that I can't get these anymore um, I need to actually look on eBay or something see if I can find these um, but they are the Silky eyeshadows in the color uh, Decadent, and this is a luster. This is also a luster, and this is the Private Beach. Do you guys remember these when Victoria's Secret had these? They were these packaging. Um, this is an interesting formula because it's like a cream powder. It's very interesting. But like these two colors on my eyeballs are phenomenal. I love the way these make my green eyes pop. I have two Milani um, gel powder eyeshadows. I have Bella Mandarin and Bella Taupe. Bella Taupe I've been wearing quite a bit. And um, this is one that I really recommend you picking up if you can find it. Again, Fred Meyer in the Pacific Northwest um, or the Milani website. And then the last two, so I have my e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow in Bark. This one's really pretty. It's really pigmented. I prefer to put these on with my fingers um, on my lids. And they're just really pretty that way. When you put them on with a brush, it gets a little sketchy. But with your fingers, they're beautiful. And this I just always have because it's my favorite thing in the world. I put this all over my eye area before I do like any other color because it helps everything else blend. It is Brulee from Wet n Wild. It's 99 cents and you have to have it in your collection. You just do. So those are the products that I'm going to be using for the next um, probably two, maybe three weeks if I get lazy um, or just don't want to switch things out because I'm loving using everything. I'm trying really hard to be consistent about changing products out because I know that I need to do that to go through my collection. But it's also hard, like, you know when you're using something and you're, like, madly in love with it? Like, it, I had the hardest time putting the Tartlet palette away because... I love it so much, but I know that there's so many other things that I need to use, again, to figure out if I want to keep them. So I'm forcing myself, and it's going to be good. So my hope is by the end of the year, trying to go through as much as my collection as, as much of my collection as possible, um, you know, just to remind myself how much I love other things and that I should be using them instead of constantly going out and buying and buying and buying. I've been pretty good about, like, not buying a ton already this year so I do have my budget again and um, I believe my budget for the entire year this year is 700 last year it was 400 and that was kind of rough uh, so I increased it a little bit and that's you know just makeup stuff now keep in mind I like I make these beauty videos on YouTube so I do spend a little bit more than the average person so that I can show you guys this stuff um, but yeah so I, I do spend more than like a normal person would on makeup but I like it I collect it <laughs> and I use it and I show it to you guys so that's my excuse <laughs> anyway hope you're having a great weekend and I'll see you guys in my next video